Air Transat Airlines Flight 236 was heading from Toronto to Lisbon. It was midnight, and the aircraft was cruising at an altitude of 39,000 feet over the Atlantic Ocean. But at that moment, the captain suddenly realized that the plane's fuel was about to run out. It was a very scary situation for the two pilots, because running out of fuel over the Atlantic Ocean means only death. This incident happened on Friday, August 23, 2001, when Air Transat Airlines Airbus A330 was being prepared at Toronto Pearson Airport to travel from Toronto to Lisbon. It was supposed to be a seven-hour non-stop flight, and therefore 48 metric tons of fuel was put into it. Flight 236 had a total of 293 passengers and 13 crew members, including two pilots, on board. The flight captain, Robert Pichet, who is 48-year-old and had 16,000 hours of flight experience, and the first officer, Dirk de Jager, who is 28-year-old, he also had 5,000 hours of experience. After completing all flight checks, the pilots got the flight 236 to the runway and then took off. After takeoff, the pilots steered the plane across the Atlantic Ocean towards Lisbon. Within a few minutes, the aircraft reached its cruising altitude of 39,000 feet. Four hours had passed since the flight takeoff. The aircraft had reached the exact center of the Atlantic Ocean. The captain noticed an advisory message, which is indicating an imbalance in fuel between the wings of plane. But this issue was not so serious, because this could be fixed during the flight itself. The captain opened the crossfeed valve, allowing fuel to flow from the left wing to the right, which equalized the fuel levels within minutes. Just 10 minutes later, the captain started receiving a low fuel warning. This time, the pilot noticed that the fuel was running out very fast, and this fuel was not enough to reach Lisbon. But now, they had only one option, and that was Azores Island. These islands are part of Portuguese territory in the Atlantic Ocean, where there is an airport on the island named Terceira. The captain contacted Santa Maria ATC and informed them that they were going to land at that airport due to fuel shortage. At that time, the aircraft had around seven tons of fuel left, which was rapidly diminishing due to a suspected fuel leak. Now the situation was that one ton fuel was depleting every five minutes. Now only 25 minutes of fuel remaining, and it was clear that they couldn't reach Terceira Airport in time. Few minutes later, a fire erupted in the right engine and panic spread throughout the plane. The plane had only four and a half tons of fuel left and one engine remaining. Now the aircraft descending altitude and emergency was declared at Terceira Airport. The plane was still 240 kilometers from the airport with only 600 kilograms of fuel left. In meantime, the left engine caught fire, and now flight 236 began gliding over the Atlantic Ocean and without engines. Due to both engines off, the plane's electrical system was failed, and now it's dark inside the plane. Now the airport was 120 kilometers away, and the altitude descend to 30,000 feet. Now the captain had to cross this distance only by gliding. The plane was descending at 2,000 feet per minute, which means in next 15 minutes the plane will either reach the airport or end up in the ocean. When the plane was 15 kilometers from Tercera Airport, the plane was at 13,000 feet. But normally at such a distance the altitude should be around 3,000 feet. The pilot performed a 360-degree turn and reduced the altitude to 5,000 feet. Now the pilot aligned with the runway and executed S-turns to lower the altitude further. Now, the pilot had only one chance to land the plane, either make it or break it. The plane landed with a strong jolt on runway and bursting eight out of 12 tires. Despite some difficulty, it came to a halt while skidding. A fire broke out in the landing gear, which was quickly controlled by the airport crew. Flight 236 set the record for the longest glide without engines in aviation history. Investigation revealed that before takeoff, a maintenance error in Toronto led to a fuel line burst due to a misfitted part. A year later, Captain Robert Pichet and First Officer Dirk de Jaeger received the Superior Airmanship Award 
for their skillful dead stick landing of the Airbus A330. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious.